All right, I'm on the phone with Joe Sullivan, the sports editor of the Boston Globe. And, Joe, I, I'll tell you, I, I read the Globe d- daily online up here in Bangor. And you've got something neat that's happening that you're you're tying in with the Boston Red Sox to uh, have the uh, an award, I guess, tell us about it. It's called the Globies. It's called the Globies. And uh, if you said we were uh, imitating the ESPYs, uh I couldn't deny it. <laughs> uh, so, but it is uh, uh, the Boston. Glo- Boston is the greatest sports city in America, and we feel that uh, an, a sports awards uh, show uh, is just fitting for for a city that has such so many great teams, so many great athletes on so many levels, and so. Uh, we we uh, voting is ongoing right now on bostonglobe.com slash globies. That's one B in globies. It's G L O B I E S. And uh, uh, readers can go on globe.com and uh, and vote in 21 different categories from uh, some really obvious ones. Uh, the Patriots MVP. Uh, I think that might be Tom Brady. There are other other nominate nominees though: Dur- uh, Darrell Revis and Julian Edelman and Rob Gronkowski. Uh, in fact, Brady's in, uh, nominating seven different categories of the 21, and I got a feeling he's going to win all seven. <laughs> right uh, now, without any question, I mean, there's such animosity uh, towards Roger Goodell. I mean, when he comes to Gillette Stadium, I, it, the noise, I think, is going to be just unbelievable with the amount of booing that's going to come down when he enters onto the field. He'd have to be pretty brave to come to Gillette Stadium. I wonder if he if he would. I I I think it would be great to have someone right next to him to see what the uh, what happens to him if he came to Gillette Stadium. He was even booed going into the courtroom yesterday in New York City. I know, uh, which is is pretty incredible. Uh, not by the kids wearing the deflated football hats. <laughs> did you see that? I did. The, you know, and I mean the needles stuck in them. That's pretty funny. It's it's unbelievable, and I mean everybody from all the accounts that I read, um, it it was definitely in Tom Brady's favor yesterday. Well, I, I think somewhat, uh, but I do think that uh, uh, it, it, that's that's probably uh, not totally true. I think the judge also. Uh, uh, Grilled uh, Jeffrey Kessler, the, the yeah. lawyer representing Brady in the NFLPA. Uh, in fact, uh, one uh, pretty interesting moment there is uh, Jeffrey Kessler pretty much threw the, the uh, John Jastrzemski and Jim McNally under the bus, uh, allowing for the fact that he could have deflated the footballs yeah. uh, without Tom's knowledge, uh, which is uh, pretty telling that they, uh, you know, all along, uh, if you if you believe the. Uh, if you talk to the people who are uh, in the corner of the Patriots are guilty, uh, it is often been said that they would uh, eventually throw these two uh, unknown people under the bus to uh, get out from under it, and uh, maybe that's what's happening here. It, it's... it might be part of the settlement. It seems like it, it, that admission by Kessler gives uh, you know a, a potential settlement area for Tom Brady. In other words, he can accept some punishment for not cooperating, but yet admit no guilt about the footballs. So that might be the area that we're looking at. Where this, this, I mean, because they're going to have to settle. They, they are going to settle. So what? I'm going to put you on the spot right now. What do you think the settlement is? I, I I've been saying this for a while, and so I'm glad to get on the record on your show, Chris. Is that I believe this will be one game suspension with no admission of guilt about the footballs, and he will accept it for lack of cooperation. Yeah, I I don't. I, it's it just seems hard to believe that at some point he's going to accept a one game suspension. I I know that's probably best of all worlds, mm-hmm. but and because you you've got to have some face saving. I thought when um, when Jonathan Kraft took it, took it on the chin, and I mean when he said we won't sue, we'll t- we'll take the the huge penalty. We'll take the loss of the draft picks. That was going to let the NFL save face and and not then um, suspend Tom Brady. Yeah, I know a lot of people felt that, but at the time, uh, it, it was uh, it was stated that, that one had nothing to do with the other. Yeah, the team punishment was one thing, and Brady was the other. Uh, but obviously, Robert Kraft, when the Brady suspension was upheld, had different thoughts. He he oh. thought he was sacrificing something for Tom Brady. And he did not get uh, his. You know, he felt that uh, he didn't get what uh, 
he thought was coming. He was really kind of outraged. We saw all that. Yeah, amazing. All right, so let's get back to the Globies. So voting ends this Saturday, August 15th. Yeah, and, and uh, the tickets will go on sale August 19th for our, the event that will be at the House of Blues on Lansdowne Street here in Boston, right behind the Green Monster. Uh, it's a Tuesday night when we're going to have the, the award show where we're going to present uh, all the uh, MVPs of the, of the four pro teams and, and some other uh, interesting awards. Uh, uh, the Boston Globe Sports Department uh, formed committees to uh, produce the nominees and select the winners of most of the categories. But fan voting on the bostonglobe.com website will choose the winner of the fan favorite and the athlete of the year. And, uh, again, I think Tom Brady is probably a real leader uh, in the clubhouse for those two categories, too. Uh, and, uh, but, geez, he could, win the, uh, uh, he could win the most stylish Boston sports person, too, because he's nominated in that category. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> Yeah, I th- he owns Boston right now. Although it's hard to imagine that anyone had a a better off season than Rob Gronkowski. I mean, he was everywhere. He had. I mean, he's been on TV. He's got his own uh, the party boss, and it's. I mean, it's just he he's had a great off season. He's quite a character, <laughs> and uh, yet he is uh, uh, as fun loving as he, he is. He's also very. Uh, well respected for the hard work he puts in to prepare for the football season, and I think no one can question his performance on the field. It was interesting in his book that came out. Uh, uh, maybe that should be required reading for the sports editor of the Boston Globe, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to own up to not reading the uh, Gronkowski uh, autobiography. But in there, uh, you know, uh, excerpt, uh, he, he said that uh, he's really taken good care of his money, that he hasn't even touched That's what the I money that for bonuses and, and, and his salary, that he lives off all his sponsorships and uh, endorsements. Uh, so it looks like Gronk is not only is sm- is, uh, smarter than we give him credit for. Maybe. Well, I'll tell you, the one thing he's not going to be able to do is when his career ends, he's not going to be able to... S- have a, a singing contract. He may he may have sung <laughs> with Big Poppy for Duncan, but it, 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 it's not on talent that that happened. Yeah, uh, football is the, is the best thing he does, <laughs> without a doubt. All right, so when is the uh, the actual award ceremony at, at the House of Blues? It's on October 6th. That's a Tuesday night. All right. That's- so again, voting ends uh, Saturday, August fifteenth. You can go to bostonglobe dot com slash globies with one B. We'll put the link here in the story, and uh, you can vote and uh, determine who's going to win uh, the globies. The globies.